What's up everyone, and today we're going to be looking at Phantom Brigade from the developers over at Brace Yourself Games. It's a hybrid, turn-based, and real-time tactical RPG, focusing on in-depth customizations and player-driven stories. As the last surviving squad of a mech pilots, you must capture enemy equipment and facilities to level the playing field, outnumber and outgunned, lead the brigade through a desperate campaign to retake the war-torn homeland. Phantom Brigade is still in early access, but there's a lot going for this game. Big thing is the turn-based in real time. It confused me when I first read it, but it's an interesting concept that's in this game. The mech you pilot has this new prototype that allows you to see a small amount of time into the future, allowing you to plan ahead in the timeline of what your actions will be in the next following five seconds to play out. Using that timeline at the bottom of the screen, you can set out move, attack, dash, or shield orders in a paused timeline, giving you its turn-based element. Then when you're happy with your actions, you resume time and all players will begin to move again, giving it its real-time element. It's an interesting way to play a game. I remember another game doing something similar to this, but I don't remember what it is. If you guys know what game I'm thinking about, leave it down in the comments for me if you don't mind. But after each battle you win, you can salvage the mechs you defeated for parts to upgrade your mech to be faster, heavier, or have new abilities. This mechanic goes a lot into detail, with multiple mech parts for the bodies, legs, left and right arms, each having different perks and advantages for you to customize to your playstyle all in depth from the armor and shield ranges down to weight, cooling, and even servos that are in the joints and cores that are in the bodies. After you've crafted the superior mech of your dreams, you can slap on a new coat of paint with handful of paint options. Nothing is cut short in this game, including the overworld. The map is huge with multiple cities, towns, and farms to battle in with random encounters along the way. In the overworld, you drive to each sector, trying to raise the morale to 100 to capture the zone and have it be a safe zone. The safe zones are important for three reasons. One, you can construct items like smoke screens to avoid battle with a patrol if you wish to. Two, there are no patrols in a safe zone, and that leads to three. They are the best places to allow your pilots to rest when they have generated too much fatigue. Yeah, that's right your pilots get tired and can affect them in combat. The more they're fatigued, they have a more susceptible chance of taking concussive damage, which means if they get hit or crash into another mech, there's a chance that they could be knocked out and are no longer able to fight, leaving you short a man in a battle which can get extremely tough. Now, like I said before, this game is in early access and still needs some improvements. Not saying this game is bad at all, but it does need some tweaks to make it the best. Luckily, they have put a roadmap for the next three months in the game. December's going to be a quality of life update, January is going to be a campaign update, and February is going to be an arsenal update, all with the details right there for you to see, which is great and means that they're dedicated to finish the game and hearing players' opinions to make this game the way that they want to play it. So that leads to the shortcoming of the games, which of course can be changed in the near future. One being the combat system itself. It's just a little awkward to use. When you want to engage in combat, you must select the combat button and place it on the timeline in the time zone you wish to use it. This is something I'm still trying to remember to do, and I keep selecting the enemy first and forgetting to place it in that timetable. On most occasions, it's set at the end of the time and the next time frame as well. I don't think this is the fault of the game, but something that is going to be a learning curve to get used to and may take players a good amount of time before catching on to this new way of playing. Another issue is the overworld. When you're going to battlegrounds, you are given no information on the enemies, only a series of dots, which I thought two green dots meant you had a good chance of winning, but that's not the case. Entering the battlefield, you could soon be up against mechs that are clearly outclassing you, and you almost have a slim chance of winning. I see this being an update in the quality of life, just because I can't be the only one who's having this issue. Or I could just be reading things completely wrong, and honestly, that's probably a valid explanation. 
But overall, this is a fantastic game. And if you're a big fan of strategy games, you're gonna want this one in your library. Sadly, it's only on the Epic Games Store for about a year, then it will release on Steam. But if you don't mind the Epic Games Store, grab this game. I have a link for the game down in the description, as well as a link to the Discord if you guys want to come and chat. Like the video guys if you liked it, lets us know if we're doing something right, and subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss a whole bunch of indie games. But like always guys, I'll see you in the next video, and have fun.